Hey everybody, I'm here by the bus and I'm standing actually by the front of it, as you can tell. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a video on the heater hoses that I rerouted under the bus. So as we take a look right here, the heater hoses used to run all the way to the side of the bus, back down the driver's side and to the back of the engine or to the engine bay. Now what I did is I rerouted it all down with some uh, brass piping to under the bus. So let's take a look at the rest of the system. So I'm under the bus. I'm looking out the driver's area towards the front of the bus. So as we go behind the bumper and we look up, that's where the hoses came through behind the wiper assembly. And one hose runs on the outside of the frame and one hose runs to the inside of the frame. Now bear with me, I'm looking up at the floor and here's the two hoses. I have them running over all the other hoses over this cross brace, cross member, and then on the inside of the C channels for the frame. So here we are, we're sitting right on top of the front axle. And if we look back here, I have it running through this brace, because the fuel tank's right here. I have it running through the brace and I use the old heater hose as insulation or abrasion insulation through the frames. Okay, so now we've come to the other side of this fuel tank. This is a 60 gallon diesel tank. Um, we've come through the frame. I had to do a little connection piece. It runs still inside the channel and through another piece of the cross member we are ending up over to where the floor heater we is now it used to be right there where those holes are so and right here this empty space to the right of the heater is where the emergency door is. So what I did is I welded some brackets for structural strength and integrity down here. I also cut some extra plating and I screwed the heater to the actual skirt of the bus. And conveniently, the cross member or the, the supports for the skirt were exactly wide enough for this heater. And then I just ran the, the hoses up here to the T fittings, ignore the wires. I still have to finish that as stated earlier. And now we follow the hoses up and back inside the frame and down the rear of the bus into the engine compartment. So give me a second and I'll show you where that goes. So here we are. Here's my transmission, my little drive shaft, and these are the heater hoses that are running to the outside of the frame, oh, don't mind the battery cables, up and around and connecting right back to where the engine heater hoses go. Everything still works, all the valves are still where they're supposed to be, the bleeder is up front, it's just no longer going through the engine or through the firewall into the back of the bus. 
Alrighty, well, that is our modification to the heater system. We're still, it's still fully functional. I just have to finish wiring everything up and filling it up with coolant. Thanks for watching. See you next time.